Hello and welcome to Derek McGuire's front end week one coding assignment video. This week we were asked to create a website with at least three pages, have a home page named index.html, have hyperlinks present on each of the pages we create, do formatting things like two different size headers, uh, create things like a list, table, form, and have at least three images. So I did a Simpsons fan page. Here you can see this is the code here. Um, on my GitHub you can clone it. I've got the requirements and comments marked out and so let's go through it here. So basically as you go through The Simpsons is a television show. You're probably familiar with it but just in case you're not Maggie is here on the right. Um, and you got Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, uh, Maggie, and there's several other characters. It's like a, dozens of characters. But I've got the images here. Um, and all the links, as you can see, I'm clicking around. No matter what you do, these are all on every page in the site. Here's the home page. And something I just want to point out is I made the images a standard height. I did not source them from... A website I downloaded them and put them here in my workspace so they are their files are in here and then I've got the HTML pages here um, but if you look I did height 450 pixels um, that's something they showed in the week one videos and I just noticed if you have this web browser open and it's large enough then everything just kind of stays the same no matter where you click which makes it kind of easier to read in my opinion um, so then those are the links I've got a table here um, got table table head table rows table header table row table delimiter or something I'm not sure what that stands for but the um, anyway this is visual studio code here and something I just want to show I'm gonna put this and so let's see here. I've got the header, header one, header three. Um, header one, Maggie Simpson. Maggie's the baby of the family. She has beef with baby Gerald. He's on the left. And that's just kind of a ongoing joke, a running joke, I think. Um, but basically it's like the, just wanted to make a correction here. So here's my code, right? I go in here. Welcome to Maggie's page. I've got the uh, live server extension here in the Visual Studio Code uh, IDE, basically. Um, the place where you do your code. <laughs> and I'm going to just add, she's on the right. And then boom, as soon as I save that, it refreshes over here in my web browser. And that way you can see um, I've got the table, so the table, character name, the episode name, episode title, oh man, the um, episode title, I did this on the home page, I think, no, I did it on Homer's, episode title, so yeah, <laughs> sorry, episode title here, uh, the city of New York versus Homer Simpson, so Homer is mentioned in this episode title, it's in season nine, and it's overall episode number 179, um, uh, you know, Bart, Bart the genius, season one, episode two, actually, um, and so on and so forth, so that's, what this is all about here but these are the tables and um, down here I've got a form the idea is you can here's the form code on I'm actually on Homer's page so let me go to Homer and you got season number you can type in a season number type in an episode name and like one Simpsons roasting on an open fire And um, I don't know. I guess that would be a search thing. I don't. We don't know what to do with forms yet. So I just made the form. Uh, you could do radio buttons or whatever. I didn't really specify in the instructions, but I did the form, and it's pretty much on every page. Uh, just copied and just for safe keeping. Anyway, here's Homer. I just want to point out. I got Homer. Three images on Homer's page to show Deep Space Homer, for example. Boom. And uh, so that's basically it. That's my website. Thank you so much for watching my video. And have a great rest of your week.